it, yeah, this is. I'm gonna end it after after you get done questioning. The, 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 Okay. Oh no, I was just beginning to have fun. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, I got work in the morning. Yeah, no. Okay. So, no problem. So, uh, he tells you that him and his friends have been watching this. They've, they've been hijacking uh, caravans and stuff as they go. And they have actually kidnapped these two dwarves. And, uh, taken, like, ransacked their saddlebags. And it admits that they found a map that was on the dwarf that his master had wanted them to look for. This is the whole reason they've been uh, hijacking caravans. He says, last, the last he knows... Yes, treasure main. <laughs> I was last. trying to remember if I suddenly remembered him like from a bar or something. Um sorry. What <laughs> treasure main or That was a I role for me and for flavor. Don't 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 worry about that. Um <laughs> He says the last he saw the dwarves were being taken to uh, their hideout, which is actually not far from the trail. Not far being See how far is this? Eh? I think it's like a five miles away. Oof. Well, so we gotta keep going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll say. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yes, I was right. It's five miles away, and he points in the direction. It's a, uh, you know, off this way. <laughs> off that way. Yeah, about five miles to follow the river, is what he says. And it, it'll lead you to a cave, and that's where, uh, that's where their hideout is. Hello. <sighs> Does anyone else feel well, like he's being a little forthcoming with this information? Well, he's he's very scared, actually. If I want to be paid, I guess I have to go. And you two sick fucks played with a dead horse. And... <laughs> well, <laughs> I I wasn't play. planning on playing with a dead horse. To be honest. <laughs> we weren't gonna but, kick it. What the situation of is? Yeah. I was just curious as to how it was moving, cause. I'm well, a performer. And, I would like to do something like this. That would be fun. In your curiosity, you yes. thought it was a good idea to help Tara lift the horse to see if yes. it would run. Yes. So okay. you broke its legs. Well, it was Wait, dead anyway. While, while yeah. this goblin, while this goblin is um telling us all this information, he does agree to take us there, right? Oh, uh, you haven't asked him that yet. Oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. See, I thought he was scared enough to agree to that. That's all I'm saying. That he, he's told you all of this so okay. far. Can I tell him? Take us to your leader. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, you can roll me an intimidation check for you. Oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I already know what Zygon's intimidation is at the moment. I already know what mine is at the moment. <laughs> Eight. Okay. Okay. That's the most horrible thing in the world. Also, while this uh, goblin was talking. The horse has finally stopped moving. Oh. Okay. Well, of course you broke his legs. How it's going? <laughs> after, oh. after it flailed about for a bit, and one of its legs nearly came loose, ripping its flesh. <sighs> it, Tara it was really stopped. hoping it would go flying and hit something. <laughs> huh. It said it just kind of flopped around on the side, the dirt. Okay. So he got an 11? Yeah. Okay. Craig looks at, at you, Cole. He, he doesn't seem to be as impressed. <laughs> but he says, I'll take you near the mouth of, the, of our hideout, but then I'm leaving. Very well, I don't have <laughs> a problem with that. 
But if I see you again, I'll make sure you do not live. He, he says, don't worry, I'm going to find myself a bar. And I, I'm going to drink my thoughts away of this dead horse. You better hope it's not his bar. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's probably a, a goblin bar. Yeah. Well, if I want to get paid, I guess we better get moving. <laughs> okay, so... I could have done a survival check. <laughs> we'll say that the carriage with the uh, supplies has some people there, including a guard. But he's basically just more protecting the uh, driver of the carriage and the I'm... what's in the carriage. So there's nothing that's around the dead horses that we could take, is there? <laughs> um, you can do a search. Perception? Yep. Uh, I'm going to, while they're doing perception checks, I'm going to check the cargo. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ah, crap. My keyboard's giving me trouble. <laughs> My cat's giving me trouble. By the way, don't forget that uh, one of you got uh, arrows staring into the... Yeah, I do. I wonder if I could pull it out and leave you. It's okay, it's not deep. It's a tiny blow arrow. Oh wait, it's a bolt. I can't use bolts. So, um... Too bad it's not a screw. We'll say that the, uh, the carriage driver and the other guard have agreed to, uh, since the people who promised to uh, pay them, their dead horses are now laying on the ground in front of them. They're going to set up camp and wait for you to go investigate the... Uh, okay. So the same the reason that... Uh, Nedges gave for us going to find them. Right? Yes. They, yeah. want, they want to get paid. For the same reason he wants to go find the guys, they want to sit here and do nothing. Yep. If he's dead, we don't get no money for even doing what we were supposed to do in the first place. True. That's well, true. And somebody has to watch the cargo. Yeah. Yep. There's. So there's a there's a guard that's going to sit and watch the cargo. This never goes no. wrong. Can we tell him not to set up uh, camp at the dead horses? <laughs> Can I name him? Name who? The guard. Guard. Sure. <laughs> okay. The reason being, is always in movies, the nameless guy stays behind to protect the cargo. Yeah. Named players get back. Nameless guy is dead. The cargo is gone. If he has a name, he won't die. Funny. I think this guy before our journey told me his name was Craig. Yep. Another one? Mm. Alright. Also funny that he lost an eye a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> also funny that he was too poor to get a glass eye so he had to use a, a rock. <laughs> his rock is actually made out of um, not granite. It's, it's a polished marble. Mm. Huh. It, it was a gift. Or, yeah. or, or we'll say it was actual tiger's eye. Huh. Is it a tiger's eye? Well, isn't that it's ironic? A, it's a type of rock. Ah, ironic. The eye type of the tiger <laughs> is the thrill of the thing. Yeah, he definitely uh, won't let anyone steal anything from him. So, are you guys done uh, <laughs> questioning... Uh, I can't He's think of anything else, and I didn't find anything on the horses. I don't know about uh. uh. He's gonna take us. I there, don't think so. I did either. Oh wait, did, loot. What did we loot? Did we loot? loot. No. I got a twenty-six. Oh, uh, you got a twenty-six. Cole got a seven. Seven. Woohoo! Okay. I, I imagine if we found job. anything. Cole's looking right at whatever it is, and I just kind of reach over and grab it. He's, still, he's just kind of like 
blindly looking at everything, <laughs> looking at the well, stuff, and I'm just reaching around stuff, picking yeah. up things. I swear my eyes are good. It's <laughs> only in darkness. You might want to try Craig's rock eye, or other Craig's marble eye. Brenna, again, is unable to show up and steal another person with glass eye, by the way. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, stop fun. doing that after this session. I just wanted to do that yeah. for Brent. That's fine. Uh, Wait, did you steal um, Goblin Craig's eye? No. Uh, oh, unse- unseen have. player is trying to steal people's eyes. Okay. You so it doesn't have, exist in this game world, strictly speaking. You could have intimidated him much so much harder if we took his eye. <laughs> See this? <laughs> really good See this? <laughs> Load in my musket, shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, motherfucker! <laughs> okay. Unseen player, player is fun. really good at stealth. <laughs> they're they're really a, horrible at stealth. He's got a plus two. No, they're horrible at pickpocketing. They're decent at stealth. <laughs> and sadly, he's. <laughs> He doesn't roll much better when he's the one actually doing the rolling. (laughs) Well, when he's trying to steal eyes. When he's trying to make it rain teeth, he does all right. You know what? If the other players can make the uh, next game, they're captured by the goblins. I'm okay with this. Oh, that's a good way to get Brandon in on this. Um, I don't know if he's going to be able to join. We'll see. Okay. And if he's able to join the next game, then awesome. If the one after that, then I'm going to have to kill him off. Cool. He'll turn evil. We'll like, I, I'd hate to do it, but just, you know. Yep. We need our players to be here every every Wednesday. Yeah. Every Wednesday? Even yeah. during Christmas. Christmas is a uh, holiday? We don't get uh, Hanukkah's a holiday at least. <laughs> so, was that is it the end of your questioning? Yeah. Because he doesn't yeah. know more information. He's taking <laughs> us. He's taking us there. So yeah. We tell I tell him to get up and move. Okay. Can I ask him about the phenomena that keep happening? The uh, the dead horse. The maybe? dead horse. The bushes. He says he doesn't know anything about this. This is not anything anyone he knows of their doing. He said, though this this trail had history before they started uh, pillaging, pillaging it. Yeah, uh, his, his clan of goblins. Do I know the history of this trail, or do I just know the? Modern history of the trail. You you know the modern history of the trail. Can I question him because as to the ancient history of this trail? Because you're from you're originally from other lands, and you've only recently become to Ever Summer. Also, you don't Japan. know the, yeah. Um, I I'm gonna do a knowledge check. Three of them. Uh, first the uh, geography. Okay. Ooh, which okay. I'm not sure where we are. <laughs> the history. Who are you? <laughs> you know you're on this map somewhere. <laughs> this is the history Albuquerque. of the place of <laughs> the history of the place that I'm at. Oh, okay. At least I know that. And then the local history to try to pinpoint down to where we are. Okay. Oh well, I guess I don't really. <laughs> I I heard something had to do with something, and well, and I know it was here though. <laughs> okay, Zygon. Uh You know from history that during the uh, the mage wars that there was a cave somewhere around here that s- supposedly housed a lot of magic artifacts and it was of great magic importance i think my my school my guild would need those artifacts uh I think that the um yeah I guess I mean, your I mean we have to your divine you know, cult would want to put these up for sake. Yeah. Of course, you know. And for the just, betterment of the kingdom. I just said nothing. Apparently. <laughs> Rude. I I tell <laughs> the group too. I tell the group 
this cave that we may be going to um, could possibly